let's go ahead and get into this video we need two more followers to hit 400 on motherfucking kick man so we're gonna try to get that shit today you know what i'm saying so let's go ahead and go to my reaction screen man and this right here is Gene Deal exposing Diddy's status as a confidential informant and says the feds allowed him to commit crimes. Now, if y'all wasn't tuned in to what Kanye been saying, bro, he always said, I'm not fucking with Diddy because he's a fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? Back in the days, they fucked with each other on some beat, like music making type shit. But now, like, Kanye is not fucking with Diddy, bro. So let's go ahead and get straight into the fucking video, man. Let's get it. They bring in a case a hundred thousand dollars. Crazy man. So I want to backtrack, right? I want to backtrack to a comment you made earlier about Diddy and how you know over the years he's been having all these run-ins with the police. Do you think the feds took notice of that? And they, you know, at this point they like, yo, we're gonna crack down on Diddy. What happens is, is that the police are bringing a CI and will use him like she was a. $3 hoe. That's a confidential informant. They'll let you do crimes as long as you don't do no murders and stuff like that. They'll let you go around and pay you. When I was in law enforcement, dog, they paid confidential informants $250 for revolvers. $500 for automatic weapons, $750 to $1,500 for uh, semi-automatic guns and rifles and machine guns and shit like that. Some confidential informants got payment like that. And plus, they get 8% of a case. 8% of a case. So if they bring in about, just say, they bring in a case, $100,000. That's 8,000, what's that? Let's do it, what's that? $8,000. That's 8,000. They bring in a million dollar case. A million dollar case. That person is getting $80,000. Don't mean like $80,000 on it. I think, I think if you're talking about 8%, you know what I mean? So I'm saying that to say this. Confidential forms get paid good. But Puff was a millionaire. Him being a confidential form and him getting money like that, it was favors. He been getting favors and been paying law enforcement people for years. I believe that shit. I ain't even okay. To protect them. You understand? To protect him, we had a lot of people on the payroll Damn. when we was doing security. Everybody had, somebody might have this, this first 10 hours, that 10 hours, or whatever. He was paying law enforcement. He had a budget for law enforcement. Now, if something goes wrong, those people got friends in certain places. Then, plus, he tells his handler, yo, can you make this go away for me? I'll give you this and that. Now, that could be a lot of speculations or whatever like that. But why would you have or be working for a FBI agent if you're not an informant? Why? So when you got that kind of money, you could hire people to make a lot of things go away for you. Like you hire lawyers. Those lawyers have police officers and people working for them. And investigators. Those investigators were former officers. So all of them in the backyard and Diddy bed together. So what you think happened <laughs> if he was an informant? Like what made him turn on him? Like I said, some people could retire. His name is too much in the news. Like, listen here, bro. They don't want you to be always in the news in a negative form. There's people that's probably worse than Diddy, but they not always in the news 
in the negative form. And then, like I said before, when he went against one of the world's biggest distributors of alcohol and spirits, they put out a campaign against him. They called their friends. They made him look real bad in the media. And a lot of that shit didn't go away, bro. It just compelled, compiled, compiled, compiled. And now with Cassie with her stuff, that Jonathan Odie, Lil Rob, and the four other people that filed cases. I think you got like three to four other cases that's filed against him that they trying Damn. to work out instead of going into court. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't what? gonna lie. All this shit right here with Diddy, man, started goddamn. Bro, every day, bro, look at this video, bro. Kanye, uh, look at what Kanye said about, uh, Diddy in this video right here. Kanye calls Diddy and inform, man. This is not the only person that's been saying this shit. Kanye's the one that said this shit first, you know what I'm saying? Poison me, and by the way, Y'all done already fuck with me so much. Y'all already black mirrored me. You already made everybody think I'm crazy. You already took my family away. You already separated all my friends. I don't got no celebrity friends. Because when I was on TV, on Instagram saying, I don't know where my child is. And the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public. And I didn't have the address of my child. None of these niggas that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address, though. Travis gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't give a fuck who, because you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks is because you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me, because part of the deal for you to be a do all that rah, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my co-car. So y'all niggas shut the fuck up about me. Now, let me say it calm. You niggas shut the fuck up about, you shut the fuck up about Michael. Right.